In electrophilic aromatic substitution, or EAS reactions, a proton on an aromatic ring is replaced by a potent electrophile. In all EAS reactions, the aromatic ring acts as a nucleophile. In EAS nitration, a nitro group is installed on the ring. The reaction requires nitric and sulfuric acid. The reaction begins with the protonation of nitric acid by sulfuric acid. It may be tempting to protonate the negatively charged oxygen atom. However, the adjacent charges of opposite polarity in nitric acid stabilize one another. Therefore, protonation occurs on the hydroxyl group instead, and this creates an oxonium ion which will serve as a good leaving group. As water dissociates, a lone pair of electrons from the negatively charged oxygen is pushed towards nitrogen to create a new nitrogen-oxygen pi bond. The result is water and the nitronium ion, which acts as the potent electrophile in this particular EAS reaction. The nitronium ion is electrophilic enough that it is able to coax the aromatic ring into reaction and so attack of a pi bond on the nitrogen of the nitronium ion leads to the new carbon nitrogen bond in the sigma complex. Notice that as nitrogen is attacked that pi bonding pair of electrons is pushed back onto oxygen so as to maintain a consistent valence on the nitrogen. The sigma complex has two additional resonance forms. Movement of the red pi bonding electrons over one bond delocalizes the plus charge to a new location on the ring, and similarly the green pi bonding electrons can be moved to the adjacent bond to delocalize the plus charge to one final location on the ring. In the last step of the mechanism, a proton is lost from the only ring carbon that is sp3 hybridized. As that proton is lost, the carbon-hydrogen sigma bonding electrons collapse towards the cation to form a new pi bond and to restore aromaticity to the ring. In this EAS reaction, water can serve as a base to remove that proton and the result is nitrobenzene as our final product. Let's now turn our attention to a couple of specific examples with regiochemical considerations. For instance, anisole can be nitrated so as to yield both ortho and para nitro anisole. Once the nitronium ion is formed, as was shown in our generic mechanism earlier, it can be attacked by a pi bond of anisole so as to place the nitro group in the ortho, meta, or para position relative to the methoxy group. The ortho and para pathways are electronically equivalent, so we need only examine one of the two. In this instance, we've shown the blue pi bonding pair of electrons attacking the nitronium ion so as to place the nitro group on the position ortho to the methoxy group. This sigma complex has the expected two additional resonance forms, but it also has one more resonance form that stems from the fact that the methoxy group is electron donating by resonance and so as a result, a lone pair of electrons of the methoxy group can be pushed into the ring, thereby displacing the red and the green pi bonding electrons, ultimately delocalizing the plus charge onto the oxygen. This last resonance form is especially stable because all atoms possess a complete octet 
and that is not the case in the preceding three resonance forms, which all contain a carbocation. Carbocations do not have a complete octet of electrons. So this final additional resonance form not only delocalizes the plus charge to one new location, but it is also especially stabilizing because all atoms possess the complete octet. Finally, the loss of a proton from the sigma complex affords the ortho product. The proton can be lost from any of the resonance forms of the sigma complex that were shown on the previous slide. In this particular instance, we've chosen to use the last resonance structure, and so water removes a proton from the only ring carbon that is sp3 hybridized. The carbon-hydrogen sigma bonding electrons collapse into the ring, forming a new pi bond. The green and the red pi bonding electrons are subsequently moved one bond over, and this allows us to push the black pi bonding electrons back onto oxygen. In this way, ortho nitro anisole is formed, and the para product is produced through a similar mechanism. Often we expect para products to be more prevalent than ortho because the ortho products may suffer from some steric hindrance due to the adjacency of the two substituents. A brief examination of the meta pathway will illustrate why it is disfavored with this particular substrate. Below, we see the attack of a green pi bond on the nitronium ion, which allows us to place the nitro group in the meta position relative to the methoxy group. When we examine the resonance stabilization for this sigma complex, we notice that there are only three resonance structures. When the nitro group is placed meta to the methoxy group, there is no way for the methoxy group to further delocalize the positive charge. As a result, this sigma complex is less stabilized than the sigma complex that results from the ortho or para pathways. Consequently, the meta pathway has a higher energy intermediate and is therefore less favorable. Now let's consider the nitration of benzene sulfonic acid. It too can be nitrated, but the product has the opposite regioselectivity from what we saw in the previous example. In this case, meta-nitro-benzene sulfonic acid is formed. As expected, the reaction begins with the attack of a pi bond on the nitronium ion. Notice that, as always, the orange pair of electrons representing the nitrogen-oxygen pi bond is displaced onto oxygen as this attack occurs, and that allows nitrogen to maintain a consistent valence. In this instance, we have generated a sigma complex in which the nitro group resides on the meta position relative to the sulfonic acid group. This meta-sigma complex has a total of three resonance forms, and notice that the positive charge never ends up on the position that is directly adjacent to the sulfonic acid group. That will be particularly important when we compare this pathway to the ortho-para pathways. The formation of the predominant meta product concludes with the loss of a proton from the sigma complex which restores aromaticity to the ring. Now, let's try to understand why the ortho and para products are disfavored in this particular reaction. On this slide, we see an initial attack 
of a pi bond on the nitronium ion, which places the nitro group ortho to the sulfonic acid group. Remember that the ortho and para pathways are electronically equivalent, so we need only consider one of the two. When we consider the resonance structures of this sigma complex, we see that yet again the positive charge is delocalized to three unique positions on the ring. However, in one of those resonance forms, the carbocation is directly adjacent to the sulfonic acid group, and the sulfur of the sulfonic acid group has a partial positive charge. Therefore, there is a repulsion between these two centers that have similar polarity. This raises the energy of the resonance hybrid for the ortho and the electronically equivalent para pathways, making them unfavorable. It is also worth noting that nitrobenzene and its derivatives can be modified through reduction. Once the nitro group has been placed on the aromatic ring, it can be reduced to an amino group through a variety of conditions. For example, treatment of nitrobenzene or one of its derivatives with hydrogen in the presence of a metal catalyst such as palladium on carbon will accomplish this reduction. Alternatively, tin and hydrochloric acid or iron and hydrochloric acid will achieve the same transformation. In summary, EAS nitration replaces a proton on an aromatic ring with a nitro group. When the reactant has a substituent on the ring, the relative stabilities of the carbocation intermediates in the sigma complex determine whether ortho and para or meta products will be favored. And the nitro group, once installed, can be reduced to an amino group, if desired, by hydrogenation or by treatment with tin or iron in HCl. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.